Hey Scorpio, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for December 8th to the 9th of 2021. Alright, let's get into it for my beautiful Scorpios, beautiful, beautiful Scorpios for the next 48 hours, spirit. What does Scorpio need to know for December? Whoa, that says um 10, red, forgive. I'm going to show you that, but I'm going to keep shuffling for December 8th of 2021. So you may need to forgive someone or yourself. I don't know why I got the like the number two pencils with the pink erasers, that burning smell when you erase, or something about a burning smell and a number two pencil and eraser. We have master number 44, storm. Every hurricane comes to an end. If you have a child in school or high school or whatever, or you're in school, we have 18, which is a nine tree. Let them go. Someone, okay, yeah, fire and burning. Someone could literally be, be doing a fire of some kind of burning a bridge or something like that. You're dealing with someone who starts a starts a lot of drama you're not you're not going to partake in it though you run away from it you hide from it you shrink from it you don't want to do with it but someone around you who starts a lot of chaos and disruption we have five stars you can manifest your every wish yeah you have someone around you they're a fire sign aries leo sagittarius or they're an air sign a crazy with gemini this person starts a lot of drama they don't care about making a scene they get angry and they start getting loud and, and smashing things and making a scene Overall energy is 31, which is a four. Universe, we're all just stardust. You're the type of person who doesn't see the big deal, the big issue. You brush it off. You let things roll off of your shoulder. But this person is not like that. All right. If someone's trying to make a scene and you're not feeding into it. Four, Scorpio. Next 48 hours for my Scorpio free spirit. What does Scorpio need to know for December 8th to the 9th of 2021? All right, we have the Page of Cups, a pleasant surprise. Oh, the lovers, Gemini. <laughs> okay, we have the Eight of Swords. Oh, it's okay, it's either all in your head or it's all in this person's head. We have the Ace of Wands. Okay, so there's a mutual connection here. Over and she's the Two of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Swords, Capricorn. There's a mutual connection here. You both feel the exact same way. But there's a third party trying to disrupt you. Ooh, I'm, I'm going to write third party interference as you read title. Because I feel like that's the main thing that's bothering y'all. And hold on. Fear. I'm going to write that down before I forget. Yeah, because for the last um few readings, I've been getting Cancer and Scorpio being involved with each other. It doesn't have to be Scorpio exactly. It could be a Gemini. It could be any sign. But there's like a lot of like interference with a twin flame divine counterpart soulmate connection because you two mirror each other you get each other you love each other like third eye chakra energy you share mind or visions you get along but there's someone in particular whether it's an ex or a family or who like tries to block it try to confuse try to block it clarify this for scorpio so you get a message from a new person that's cancer or that's scorpio Clarify this for Scorpio. And one more shuffle. Please clarify this message for Scorpio. Let's see exactly what this is. Alright. Clarifying the Page of Cups is a five of wands. Yep, there's conflict. Cock block. If someone doesn't want you to... Because with the Page of Cups, that's a, a new message. That's like excitement. A, a pleasant surprise. And then nine cups, someone wants to compete for that. Either they want to compete for your attention or this person's attention, or they just don't want to have you. They don't want you to be happy, period. There's someone here who does not want y'all to get together. And I feel like it's another water sign that you're getting with. Aries, Leo, I mean, sorry, another water sign that you're getting with. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, who does not want y'all to be together. Clarifying the lovers is the four pinnacles. It could be an air or earth sign. I feel like your, your counterpart is a water sign or someone who has a lot of water in their chart. Page of Swords. There is a Gemini Virgo who's spying on y'all, trying to keep y'all apart. For some reason, it's a conspiracy theory. So There's people trying to keep you and your divine counterpart, Twin of Flame, apart. Clarifying the Eight of Swords is the tower. Yes, someone's trying to keep y'all apart. Judgment. Taurus. It could be an air sign, crazy Gemini. Clarifying the Ace of Wands is the High Priestess Pisces. And the Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Overall, is the Six of Swords. 
you you transcend the energy anyway. You two get together anyway. And I, I know this is annoying, but for the past month, like all I've been getting is there's someone in particular. It could be a Gemini, Taurus, Pisces, Virgo, any it could be any sign. You have family members or friends trying to keep you and your divine counterpart separate. And your divine counterpart is a new person. You do not have a lot of history with this person. You have never had kids with this person. You've never been married to this person. Y'all had a short, hot fling. All right. You ultimately, you've just been friends with this person. But there's a divine counterpart twin flame that you have no history with or barely any history with. And there's people, you just got reconnected with this person or back together with this person, or you're just now feeling romantic feelings for this person. And once you realize that you have people, places, and things, lovers, family members, friends who are trying to stop you from this. All right. And that's going to be obvious to you. It's up to you to decide whether you're going to take on this the divine counterpart twin flame relationship or you're going to listen to your family members and friends and exes. Come on now. You're your own person. All right. That That's the straightforward message I'm getting. And I know for the past like three to a, like a month, the last month for all of December, I've been getting soulmate twin flame readings for Cancer and Scorpio. And I also been getting like a third party situation where people are trying to interfere. No one's cheating. You, Scorpio, or your Cancer, or whoever your divine counterpart is, that new person, neither of you are cheating. I feel like, I know this is t TMI, but neither of you have had sex with each other. So there's like, you two are inexperienced with each other. And then you have exes, family members, and friends who are trying to spread negativity between you two and tear you apart. But I'm going to leave it there. This is really resonated. Don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. If you are interested in booking your personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, a link for that is below as well, Scorpio. I also feel like, oh, excuse me. The, the new person is telling you to let these people go in your life and you may like object at first. Because I feel like there's a mild conflict between you and your new person. And it'll make you kind of like, it'll make you question whether you should trust your family members and friends or this new person. You should check the, you should trust the new person. The overall energy is where all just stardust. So regardless if there's a plan, a plot or whatever, it's minuscule compared to what you know. A six of swords, you're letting it go, moving forward, creating balance. Queen of wands. Underneath this is the Six of Cups and the Tempest. Yeah. So this is a childhood friend or family member. This is someone you knew in the past, but you never dated them. Again, this is someone you went to school with, but you don't have no serious history with. All right. I'm going to leave it there. Again, if this really resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. If you like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, a link for that is below as well. Scorpio, I send you peace. Blessings and love. Namaste.